Good morning, everyone. I'm pleased to present the Wellness Council of Wisconsin's Light of Wellness Awards. We are happy to partner with Humana and BizTimes to celebrate the accomplishments of organizations and individuals that have made a difference in worksite wellness, which many of you heard the panelists refer to today. Although this inaugural year for Wisconsin's Light of Wellness Awards, it has been a long-standing tradition among our affiliate councils. The Light of Wellness Award was created in 2003 to recognize the founder and inspiration for worksite wellness in America. Many of you know him as William Kaiser. William founded the Wellness Council of Midlands in 1982 and the Wellness Council of America in 1986. A little known fact, but William Kaiser also has roots in the formation of the Wellness Council of Wisconsin. In 1985, William Kaiser met Lynn Bardelli from Milwaukee's Northwestern Mutual at a Health Insurance Association conference where he shared his council vision. And the Wellness Council of Wisconsin was formed later that year. Our nominees this morning are all models of what William Kaiser envisioned for worksite wellness and the positive impact it can have on our individuals and success of their companies. This inaugural year, we received a tremendous response of 44 nominations. Here are some of the highlights from the Light of Wellness Award nominations. Individual weight loss among all nominations was nearly 1,000 pounds. Since 2010, one organization, one organization, walked 2.5 billion steps, billion steps, and lost 10,000 pounds. At one company, 80% of employees utilize the fitness center, measuring 18 plus hours of exercise per day. A unique drive well, no sell campaign garnered participation of 277 employees who pledged to refrain from texting or using a cell phone while driving. Many countless more risk reductions and biometric measures. The Light of Wellness Award has three categories, healthy behavior, leadership, and rising light. The award panel of industry leaders have chosen one winner in each category and multiple honorable mentions. As you can imagine, these decisions proved to be very difficult. The Healthy Behavior Award honors individuals who are participants in their company worksite wellness program and exemplify healthy behavior or lifestyle changes that have resulted in significant improvements. At this time, I would like to ask our honorable mentions for the Healthy Behavior Award to come forward as I call your name. Carol Bombinski, Freightert Health. Carol is a testament to how worksite wellness programs can help employees achieve their goals. Carol and her husband have been tobacco free for three years. She has lowered her biometrics to normal range and lost 55 pounds. Carol. Craig Geiger, Anguil Environmental Systems Incorporated. Craig's changes began January 1st, 2010, when he weighed in at 305 pounds. After countless hours in the company on-site fitness center and newfound love for 5Ks, 10Ks, and even 15Ks, Craig, as you can see, is 100 pounds lighter, happier, healthier, and most of all, a leader for his family, his son, and his coworkers. Craig stated, I look back two years and see a 300-pound man nearing 40. Today, I like what I see, and I'm truly happy with myself. Jessica Payson, Marquette University. Jessica is an active participant in the wellness program and has completed every challenge. Since participating in the wellness program, she has completed three half marathons. Jessica truly makes most of the opportunities and resources she has been given, and her high level of engagement in the wellness program has impacted many in a positive way. Congratulations to all the Light of Wellness Healthy Behavioral Honorable Mentions.
Next, I'd like to introduce the Light of Wellness Award winner for the Healthy Behavior Award, Robin Nicholson of Appleton Papers. Robin has lost over 100 pounds and has maintained that weight loss for more than two years. She openly shares her changes with coworkers and allowed the company to publish a story about her weight loss journey with the hope to inspire others. Robin took advantage of many programs at Appleson, starting with a health risk assessment, and has continued this each year. She works with a health coach to create diet and exercise plans, and she utilizes the on-site fitness center and participated in Weight Watchers to learn portion control. As a result of these changes, Robin is off her blood pressure medication. She no longer has joint pain. She sleeps better. She has higher self-esteem and more energy. She has inspired countless employees by her actions and story. Congratulations, Robin. Thank you very much. This is very unexpected. Um, I was just on a seven-day all-inclusive vacation. Probably would have played that a little different if I would have known I had this award. Um, anyway, I'm far from perfect, but I have committed to a healthy lifestyle forever. Um, it'll, it's a never-ending challenge. Um, this morning at the hotel gym, it all came together, what I was going to say. Um, by the way, I was very lonely there this morning. <laughs> um, two things. Um, employers out there need to treat, and I heard this a little bit in the panel, they need to treat their employees like family. They need to care about them just like their family. At Appleton Papers, we have so many things there for us. Um, health risk assessments health coaching, um, lunch and learns, after, after work programs, yoga, boot camp. Um, sometimes it's in your face. But you know what? If I have a family member that's overweight or a best friend that's overweight and unhealthy, I get in their face. And really, that's really what we need. This is so important that you really need to get in their face. And it's pretty soon it takes hold and people realize and the other thing I have to say is, if you need to make a healthy lifestyle change, and you're aware of it, I hope you find that motivation within yourself to be able to do that. And if you have a lot of weight to lose, baby steps. Start with baby steps, and all things are possible. And my new motto I'll share with you, thoughts become things, so choose good ones.